keep trying my best to tame these little boys. Get out of here, get out, go, go, go. The thing about society in Waco is we only use Owen's Corning brand. This is a stinky boy. We need to let this land heal for a time. Oh, give me a kiss real quick. Him and the baby are both getting along. Cooped up for three days straight in there. It's 60 degrees. The ice is still very thick. A good morning, everybody. Welcome to 2023. It is nice and 70 degrees here. Look at this queep. And the barn is finished. I'm back from vacation and now everything is completely done. Pog boy is healthy because he's been forced to eat multiple times a day. My whole home is clean. As you can see, I did this all by myself. As you can see, the Clappy Blappies are back in this little area today. Look at these diggers is coming right into my house. But today is a very big day for Capybara kind. Get out of here. Get out. Go, 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 go. Today, we are going to be taking all of this fencing and I'm going to be letting these Clappies free range on the whole yard. It's going to take a lot of work, but I'm all rested up from my five day vacation. That's right. You guys have no idea that I was gone. I was in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Why? Watch to the end for an epic Uncle Ben Christmas vlog. Exclusive. I'm going to have all this done in three, two. All right, everybody. The deed is done. I now have a gate over there and a gate right here so we can get into the trailer and then also around there. I never really park here, but visitors do and construction workers will. The cap is over there wandering, but this pad is now completely ready for our new building. But now while all this construction is getting done, I can keep the animals over there in that area. We still have this little fire pit area here. Now I just need to clear out the scrap panels and the trash. And once I move all these things, I can open up these garage doors and let the wallabies free range. These boys can even walk back here now. Hello, chicken. And for now, I am going to leave this little thing here closed. But Petunia likes to hang out in here. Okay, I just cleaned up all the trash that was there, put it in this storage container. These boys are just grazing right now. Most of our grass did die from the freeze, but I could turn our sprinklers back on because it's not going to get that cold for a while now. But right now, I'm going around picking up all the trash that I can. Once I get rid of all this trash, it'll be a safer place for them to graze. Okay, just got done moving all these panels over here by hand. All right, everybody, I'm going to go ahead and release these guys from here. Now, this is an epic freedom moment. All right, everybody, the barn is open. And now these wobbies have freedom to hop around my entire backyard. This whole area is now home for them. Now I'm just going around picking up all the trash. As you can see, this little man is much more friendly. This is my friendly wobby, but he's still not that friendly. But our farm sitter was able to make a lot of great accomplishments with him. Take a look at this clip. As you can see, this wobby is eating an apple in close proximity to a human being, which is big. Oh, dropped it. Uh, and here's the little guys after they got released, after being cooped up for three days straight in there during the freeze. I've gone ahead and shoveled all their poo-poo out. And now I can run the sprinklers in this whole area and get the grass to turn green again. Look at this beautiful live oak. And this whole area is now ready for construction. And this could be where we sell pump. Pumpkins. Poggers and Queen can still jump over all of these fences, so they have free range of this whole property still. While I was gone, we rehomed Technoblade for Christmas to a family, and he is going to be an indoor outdoor pig. Whoa, is that hit rapper and artist Wombi? But I'm still taking care of him for a friend for the moment. The geese are still here. Whoa, is that hit rapper and artist? The baby vibing in the corner? Hello, hello, my beautiful, handsome baby boy. How are you today? Just look at these beautiful paws, you guys. There is nothing more precious than a baby paw. And he really just doesn't care if I come up to him and poke him and scratch his little face. He is just the most precious creature here. But these guys still love their pond. I need to move the emus back into their little area over there. We still have some nice green grass in this area, but I want to keep it that way. So I'm going to move all these guys back to their respective areas until this land can heal chestnut looks a lot more beautiful now look at her kevin came up and attacked me earlier so i slapped him and now he's hiding from me but his children seem to be doing very well okay i finally got all of the Rhea into here at once which is so hard to do now that these little boys are big enough they can all hang out with kevin and karen they have a nice little area in there with more water and food and a ton of grazing territory here and a nice little thing of water here and some food here as well homelander will stay in here by himself for the time being while I find him a wife. And these adorable emu boys are going to go to the back here because I don't want them to destroy all of this grass. We need to let this land heal for a time because that frost really stressed out all the foliage here. The wind was pretty bad here, but just like Minecraft, you guys, they follow me when I have the food. Come on, Chestnut, hurry up. We're waiting on you now. These guys are really, really antsy to eat this food. And while they're distracted, I'm going to get Petunia out of here. Come on, Petunia, go. 
Oh, you got your own little place. Very good. Okay, I'm gonna let them eat that for a bit. Now these boys are back where they belong. For some reason, the call ducks are pooping in this pond. And pretty soon it's gonna rain and I'll run the water for these ponds to fill up and look nice again. Go on in here and I'll give you some food. What's interesting is all this land wasn't really going to heal anyway. Even after I took these guys out, I really need to run the sprinklers a lot for this stuff to grow back. Come next spring, I think I am just gonna go ahead, put sod down in most of these areas. Once we have really well established sod that's firmly in place all over this area it's going to be beautiful because this area will just not grow back at all and while the baby steals homelander's food i'm going to hand feed him so that i can bond with him just a little bit homelander's doing a lot better he's trusting me a lot more now him and the baby are both getting along homelander seems to be really really unproblematic for now I imagine in the spring when this man has a wife, he's gonna be a lot more territorial and mean. And that's why we need to keep him separate from the other guys. But for now, this little beautiful boy is gonna be friendly and nice with us. And in the winter and fall every year, he's gonna be friendly and cute. It's amazing to see how quickly Homelander has grown from just being an adorable little chick to this big, beautiful baby boy. Oakley doakley, everyone's been fed now. And all the Rias are eating together. Look at Karen with her babies. It's so nice to see all of these guys as a family again. Again. And it's still going to be another year before any of these guys can mate with Kevin. So we don't have to worry about any inbreeding going on. I am going to kill this mesquite sapling real quick. Okay, now that that's over with, I'm going to go ahead and check on the clappy blappies. Whoa, was that hit rapper and artist? The baby? Hanging out, you could say. If you guys were wondering, these are the softest creatures known to man. And he's in such a good mood because he's just let me pet him. This man almost never lets me pet him like this. He is so perfect. All right, the baby, you know the law. Give me a kiss real quick and I can leave. Oh. Okay, goodbye, son. Whoa, is that Remington? Oh, look at those folds. Oh. Wow, Homelander's so big now. But okay, everyone seems to be happy. Let's go check on the Wallabies. The goats seem to be thriving. And all they do is just sit around and fart all day. And look cute. But there's not a thought going on behind that eye right there. Duck moment. All of this grass is going to be able to heal now and recoup. And the baby and all the ducks have free range to this entire barn. And pretty soon I'm going to let the cappies have free range of this whole area. And I'm going to dump this out and move it and use its plug for this thing because I lost this one's plug. And then the cappies can climb up and swim in it whenever they want. Speaking of which, but it's gonna be so nice when these guys have the freedom to climb up in a big pool of water like this, or even just swim in the big pond over there. But for now, this is it, you guys. This is the winter in the Urban Rescue Ranch. A lot of 70 degree days and then the odd 13 degree day. Thankfully, today is one of those 75 degree days in January. And when it gets cold again, we'll be ready because we can always just close these doors and keep this place nice and toasty and the nether here is a perfect little place that i can store things away from the animals and we still have so much potential to do so many different things with this little space here sus now the only two things i'm a little bit concerned about are the cappies chewing on the insulation here although i don't think they'll swallow it so i may just fence this in and the clappies chewing on the insulation here which they started doing just on the tape here i covered it with this thing so they don't keep doing it I don't see them doing that. They have so many other options of things to chew on in here. I'm gonna dump this out and refill it. I think the freeze may have damaged this thing a little bit. Look at this little man chewing on a leaf. He really over here just chewing on a little leaf right now. These really are the most precious creatures we have now. Let's see how close. No, please, son, please. Like I said before, you guys, these aren't my wallabies. They're my buddies I'm taking care of for. It has been a really interesting experience to have just two wild wallabies living on my property. I'm going to keep trying my best to tame these little boys. Oh, look at that. He's so Perfect. But like I said, they came from a ranch where people basically just farm them to hunt. And although I didn't actually believe it at first, my buddy said, oh yeah, they get full body mounts of those things all the time. People love hunting them for the full body mount, which is uber cringe. Oop, the water's done. What I could also do is just move the fencing to go around there with that ramp. And then I could have that little area in here. But that'll have to be in the next video when we open this up for them to swim. Look, they still love going in here and just hanging out. As you can see, the ounces are thriving. They actually piled up all of the hay from the back to here. And they have a huge nest in here. I hear all of them moving around deep in that little nest here. But this is Big Ounce Boy. Hello, Mr. Big Ounce. Did your wives make this giant mound of hay for you and your future children? Did you miss me, my... Oh, 
He's mad that I left him. Oh wow, they have a little tunnel hole there. That is so interesting. They turned this whole big thing into a giant tunnel. So this is all a big den for them. Like I said, you guys, most people just keep their prairie dogs in tiny cages like this. This does a way better job of simulating their natural environment. But eventually I would love to get a bunch of natural dirt for our ounce topia, but that will have to be in a completely different enclosure. But take a look at this. Look how clean my house is. That's right, I cleaned it everyone all by myself, especially without the help of my wonderful pet sitter named what this video wasn't good enough for you to like this video wasn't good enough for you to like and subscribe was this video not good enough for you to like you know the thing about society in waco is <laughs> now this is an epic gamer moment you see when i came home for christmas nathan i was expecting to be doing manual labor <laughs> applebee's light fixture and this is my new house everyone i just bought this new house by myself just kidding guys i'm at my brother's house <laughs> so we're doing r38 insulation for the ceiling we only use owens corning brand because it's edible this is me i'm doing it all by myself oh you think you're so good. look at these old antique doorknob but can someone tell me what this is i believe it's an iron lung where you'll stick your uh good old-fashioned iron long i don't know what that is and this is one of those little uh doohickeys from fortnite sometimes i like to come down here and i like to just flip everything and have fun it's a riot kids i recommend you do that in your homes as well hi there beautiful boy welcome to my dream you don't smell like diapers here at an urban creek in waco texas uh this step right step right Ooh. we got a real bad freeze here in waco uh, this is the worst freeze we've had in waco texas cookie yeah, moment know. cringe ah uh ah -uh, sunset bubble baby boys gotta love these waco sunsets <laughs> sus all i gotta do is come up here shake this and they run all the way up from the pond to me Good morning, because the white one's a peeking, it will steal all the food from the brown one and it won't let the brown one eat. So I just go ahead and grab him like this and he can't eat anymore. This is a stinky boy. He doesn't mind being held after a little while. You see, I give him only a couple little kibbles. Of Duck moment. Now there's little crumbles in the pear. I'll let him eat it out of the pear. Little chunks of fruit is good for him too. You don't want to give him too much fruit. Friendship. And even though it's 60 degrees, the ice is still very thick here. Oh, look at me. I just had a bunch of food, but I still want more. <laughs> Man, I sure do love Waco, Texas. Hey, thanks so much for watching my video. Love you, appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next video.